started Bird Eye Farms about, well, I got kind of, I got serious about it probably two years ago in um, 2020. I've always had an interest in gardening and um, way back till I can remember. And so it kind of just, from my, from my interest in gardening, it um, kind of flowed into finding market gardening, like um, through YouTube. My husband, Martin, he is, he already had um, a business in that um, he's a landscape architect, but he couldn't find the native plants for his jobs. So he decided that he was just gonna have to grow them himself. So he had a hoop house, and then we had the greenhouse for all of that. And, um, and Whit just kind of started using those. And so we had the infrastructure as far as, you know, what he needed for the basics, but, um, he has gotten so passionate about it. I mean, he, he follows, he's got several farmers that he follows and I, I can't tell you how many books we've bought him. I even have a subscription, it's a lifelong subscription to the, uh, the Lettuce Gardener where it's market to, um, you know, growth to market. And um, so we've, we've really tried to support his endeavor because he's so passionate about it. I mean, it's, it's pretty much to him, I mean, he's a really smart kid and he did well in school, but it just, it really bored him. And, you know, he needed something that he, you know, enjoyed. And I think when he found this and, you know, he started learning about the plants and just, you know, the, the dirt and the earth. And, you know, usually he's out there walking barefoot in the dirt. And um, <laughs> so it's, it's kind of funny to look out there and, and see him, but, um, but I think as far as just trying to support, you know, his passion and what he wants to do, it's been really neat to see him blossom into that kid that truly gets up every morning and can't wait to do, you know, be in, be in the farm, you know, be in the garden and, and doing that. I like, I like learning a lot. I like learning about far, um, farming and all the, the art behind it. I'm interested in a lot of crops, but I grow only a portion of those, um, mainly just because it can be really hard to do all that. I can be really busy, um, so I mainly grow like salad greens, like lettuce mix, arugula, um, mescaline mix, which is salad mix, I guess, um, and then spinach, baby spinach, and some like full leaf spinach. Um, I grow, my favorite thing to grow would probably be actually heirloom watermelons. I grow on average probably like 20 varieties a year of watermelons and cantaloupes and muskmelons, um, about another 20 varieties of those. Um, then these heirloom tomatoes that are all around here. Um, I got like maybe 15 different heirloom varieties, which is, I'm really excited about that. Um, well, I try to have the biggest impact in like the immediate area. So I like to provide people around here with like fresh produce that they really couldn't get. And people do say that um, it really makes a difference just because how much better and fresher it is than what, st what they can get at the grocery store, which is really, which is really encouraging. Um, and so, I sell like to win and I'll do a, I do a delivery every like Saturday. I do a, have a um, thing called a salad box, which is like, it has the dressing, the, I make the dressing, the, um, the salad ingredients, which is like the lettuce mix and a root vegetable like radishes or kale. Um, and I do that every Saturday during the spring season and fall. You know, seeing his passion for, he wants to make where we live a better place, you know, with the, the lack of chemicals and, um, you know, just making a true organic farm where he can actually, you know, make a difference in this area and, you know, provide people with the best tasting produce. I, I think that's what really makes me proud. And to see him, he's always been really shy as a kid. And to see him interact with his customers and he emails them and sends out newsletters, just to see him, number one, doing what he loves and number two, you know, getting out and talking to people about, you know, what he does and, and communicating. And I think he's just really grown as a, a person. And I'm just, I'm really proud of, you know, what, what he's been able to do in this short amount of time and the initiative he's taken. Next year is probably actually going to be my last um, season here because I probably, I would like to, it's kind of a big statement, but I'm probably not going to go to college. I want to go um, around the world and kind of explore maybe for a year, explore the world. Um, and then, cause I've always had kind of a passion for also like traveling and exploring different cultures and stuff. Um, and then work on maybe different farms for a few years to learn like the, cause I think it'd be cool to learn like um, their techniques they're using, how they farm and stuff like that. Um, and then come back here. From the beginning, I've always been interested in doing it like in a way that would 
not only not harm the soil or the surrounding plants and animals, um, but also be beneficial to it and leave it better than I found it, um, the land better than I found it. And so, and also considering that like, um, like my grandchildren, I want them to have a better world than like I found it. And there's a lot of like distressing news and stuff. And um, I want to be like the positive change or help be that, the positive change that kind of turns out or at least makes a small, even if it's a small different, still meaningful. Mm -hmm.